UConn welcomed Marquette as both teams looked to get back into the win column after each had gone winless in the last three games. Marquette got off to an early lead with a header goal in the fifth minute and then extended their lead in the 31st minute off of a defensive mistake. However, the Huskies would go on to score in the 43rd minute as Kieran Chandler scored his second goal of the season with help from Tess Story and Tamirius. In an already physical game, tensions would boil over as the two teams would come together on the sideline after a hard foul which escalated with a red card for both sides. Tensions would remain high for the rest of the game, resulting in a second red card for the Huskies. UConn would equalize in the 71st minute as Marquette would score an own goal. That momentum carried on as Scott to Story, who had been involved with UConn's previous two goals, put the Huskies ahead in the 81st minute, proving that he is an integral part of UConn's attacking style. No, yeah, he's a key figure for us. And today, yeah, what a, what a day to step up, right, when we really needed him the most, going down 2-0 looking for a little bit of a spark and he was able to give it to us. Hibbert would make a massive last minute save which would solidify their win with a final score of 3-2. to two. The Huskies go on the road for their next game on Wednesday, October 18th against the Providence Friars who just took down formidable opponent Georgetown. From Moroni Stadium, I'm Sophia Macon, UCTV Sports.